And we're back, guys. I'm your host, Good Energy. Today, we're taking a look at the U.S. Open draw, the second round, second half, day number four. And we're going to start things off with Patapova taking on Lachimko, the qualifiers. She's a veteran, guys, nearly 700 wins on her tennis career. She's only got one main tour championship, but she's got 13 lower level championships. And Patapova is firing on all cylinders. After that win over Layla Fernandez, where Layla had it in the bag, guys. Potapova did not give up, and I just don't see Lechemko. Lechemko, I felt Brenda Favertova would beat Lechemko. She did have to retire. Let's wish her a speedy recovery, but she did win a service game. She looked good in her first service game win, but I just think, I don't think Lechemko is going to have much to really be a threat to Potapova in this spot. I'd like Potapova to get the victory here. Carolina Pliskova taking on Jasmine Polini. Seems like these two play some really tough matches, right? Uh, Pliskova owns the head-to-head, -head, even though they've only played once. I mean, it just seems like seems like this is a tailor-made matchup for for Polini. Um, if Pliskova serves well, I think she can do something here. But I just think Jasmine's athletic ability, I think it's going to be a little too much for Pliskova in the sense that. Pliskova does have a forehand where she can isolate that, but I just think coming towards the net, I just don't see how Pliskova is going to defend a lot of these short balls. You know, Jasmine does a lot what Sarah does, Sarah Irani, her doubles partner. She'll pin you deep with the forehand. She'll get you deep in the corner, and then she'll be waiting at the net to come back and just put you away. There's, I don't think Pliskova is going to be able to return that. The best strategy for, Pis, for, excuse me, for Pliskova in a spot like this is to really serve well and hold. And just hope Jasmine slips up with a double fault here, a second serve that she can step in on. I just think Jasmine's going to be too much for Pliskova. I like Polini to get the victory here. Iga's fiance, Iga, big bad Iga, taking on Shabiara. Iga's the favorite to win it still. I mean, um, a little bit of scare. Yeah, I know I said it was an upset alert against Kamala Rakimova. Come on, guys. It's just being a little bit of a comedian, but the reality here is. Camilla's a good tennis player. She is a good tennis player. And like I said, I, I can't really see her not winning service games against Iga. She's a, she's a solid, fundamental tennis player. All of those Russian tennis players that come up and do something on tour, they're solid. In, in the words of Iga's fiancé, they're solid. So I do think that um, Rakimova did what she should have. But Shabby Harris, she's playing well. She's come through qualifiers. The win over Dasha Seville, and again, they tried to set up another match between Seville and Iga. Like, the matchmakers, to some extent, they have to stop giving us these, these same old matches and these draws. There's too many players. Like, mix it up a little bit, for crying out loud. It's like, I don't know. It's just, I've, I would not have wanted to see Seville play Iga again in New York. I would not have wanted to see that. But nonetheless... Um, Rakimova played well. Shabi Howard's playing well. I'm going to take the first set under nine and a half. That's the pick. Iga should bounce back here in a big spot. Iga's bakery, is it open? We'll see. Maybe in the second set. Elizabeta taking on Anastasia Pavichinkova. This is uh, probably the toughest match on the board uh, to predict, to be honest with you, because I think Elizabeta's playing very well to where she can chalice Anastasia. It's going to be a class of different styles. Elizabeta beats you inside the baseline, coming cross court, uses a lot of top spin when she comes cross court. Anastasia is just going to, she's just going to beat you down with that baseline uh, backhand. She's going to beat you down. I think it's going to be tough for Elizabeta to get under these shots just by how Anastasia plays. But I don't want to count out Elizabeta. Um, I think it's going to be tough for Elizabeth. I really do. So I'm going to take Anastasia to get the victory here. That's a pick, guys. Anastasia over Elizabeth. Igas Fiontek first set under 9.5. Polini over Pliskova. Potapova over Levchenko. Like the video. Show some love. We'll be back. Thank you, guys.